Welcome back to another Technique Tuesday. We are gonna be discussing the technique made famous by the greats, Anderson Silva, Lyoto, Machida. All right, but seriously though, we're gonna be discussing the front kick. You can do front kicks with the back leg, you can do it with a front leg, you can work slide up front kicks, front kicks for days, we're gonna be working on that for you. You can use the front kick in many different ways. You can use it defensively, offensively, you can use it as a gauge finder, kinda, kinda be able to create distance with your opponent, uh, to gauge your distance, so all sorts of ways, guys, and we're gonna be discussing the front kick. We're gonna be discussing all of it, okay? All of it. Many different varieties of front kicks out there, but we're gonna be discussing two. The karate snapping front kick, and you see a lot of Muay Thai, the pushing front kick. The push kick, as some people like to call it. Let's get into it. So, the push kick, we're gonna get into this one. You see a lot of MMA and Muay Thai. Now the push kick can be done with the front leg or the back leg. Use the hips a lot in this kick. What I want to do, I want to use the front leg and then I want to use the back leg. Now the, the push kick can be aimed at many different places, the face, the body, even the hips, to drive those hips back to kind of keep your opponent away a little bit. Very simple, some people like to turn straight ahead. I kind of like to have my foot at almost like a 45 degree angle. When I pick my leg up, it helps me keep balance a little bit better. Gotta be able to use those hips. It's all in the hips. So the leg comes up just like so. I like to do my push kicks and even my snap and front kick with the ball of my foot, okay? So I like to go here, almost like you're walking on your tippy toes and it takes a little while to be able to develop the flexibility in those toes to get those toes pulled back in good position, which is here. Some people like to kick with the whole foot or the bottom of the heel. I'm gonna be focused on today just the ball of the foot. Body turns straight ahead. I like to kind of almost squaring my hips and my shoulders up as I lift my leg up. Now, as I extend my leg, look what my hips do, which is where the power comes from. My hips, I thrust them forward to get good power on it. So, boom, just like so. As I do this, I kind of like to tilt my head back just in case my guy blocks it or parries my front kick and he, and he tries to hit me. I'm kind of evading those punches. I do see this sometimes. When people do those kicks, they lean forward like so, which is gonna take away the hips. You don't get maximum power when you do that. So lean that head back, shoot those hips forward like so. Just like this. Hips forward, front leg, and then you have the back leg. You can even do it with sound effects. I like to do that when I spar, I like to do sound effects as well. Makes it fun. Push kick, it's really good for keeping your distance between you and your opponent, driving them back. Remember, head, body, even hips, you can aim for. Now for the snapping front kick. Go back, and I recommend watching Anderson Silva versus Vitor Belford, and also Leo Machida versus Randy Couture. Very good fights where they were both finishes with that snapping front kick. We're gonna discuss the Anderson Silva one first. Now, Anderson Silva was in a good wide stance, just like so. Now the snapping front kick, it's got a little hip into it, but it's more the snapping of the leg that does the work. You can do this kick pretty close range, all right? And I like this one to the head, especially if you get those toes pulled back like I discussed a minute ago. Go back and watch, it was awesome. Now the Anderson Silva used the back leg to do the front kick, and it was more of a snap boop, than anything. Pop, just like so. A little less hip, more snap with that, with that leg. I like using this one to the body. You snap a good front kick to the solar plexus, sink it in real good, not really push, but snap it in and out, you can really take the breath out of somebody. Now, moving on to the Lyoto Machida finish. If you guys haven't seen this, I also did a Technique Tuesday on the slide up movement, which is a way of covering the distance, be able to land your kick, and Lyoto Machida did it phenomenally against Randy Couture. This was almost like a flying front kick you guys ever seen that, but it is similar to a slide up movement. So what he did was, he took his back leg and he slid it up to his front. He had a little elevation to it, make it more of a, like a flying kick. But it kind of looks like that when you're doing the slide up with the front kick. So he did it with the front leg and it went something like this. Back foot move forward, covering the distance, snapping the leg out and back. Just like so, all right? Covering that distance. He stayed out of reach. He knew Randy Couture was gonna try and take him down. Cover the distance quick, back foot moves forward, hips turn straight ahead, snapping that leg out and back, boom, just like so. I'm pretty sure he uh, knocked his tooth out during that fight. He knocked his tooth out, right? Pretty sure slow motion you can see that thing going flying. Anyway, thank you. Now, to execute and show you guys this on a live human being, 
I'm gonna bring out my bro, the one, the only, Tony Sweet T Thompson, AKA Michael Bisbee. Hi. They say it looks like Michael Bisbee sometimes. So we're gonna be discussing the push kick first. Now, front leg, push kick, back leg, push kick, emphasizing the real, the movement of the hips, driving and thrusting that, that didn't sound right. Thrusting that foot forward. So I'm in my fighting stance, I can use the slide up, or if he's coming at me, using that front kick. Sorry about that, you some whiplash, too powerful. Or the back leg, okay? Picking the leg up and driving the foot forward. So, I'll show you a few times. Back leg, just like so. Now, let's get into the snapping, all right? The karate, front kick. I don't know why they say it like that. So this one I like to use, really not as like to drive them back, but to aim for a certain spot, I like to go for like a floating rib or the solar plexus. And you're starting to see this a lot now, especially if you got a guy coming forward like so, kind of square. Using the back foot, I am snapping the foot. As you can tell, not as much hip movement. So I can go to the body, or I can go to the, the head. Show you one more time to the head. <laughs> front kick. So there you have it guys. The pushing front kick and the snapping front kick, front leg and back leg. We call it the Anderson Silva Leoto Machida Special. So if you like this Technique Tuesday, hit that subscribe button guys for new content coming at you weekly. See you soon.